Our Solar Edge solar system saved us thousands of dollars this month. Hi, my name's Nick, and welcome to the Rig and Farm YouTube channel. If you've been following us for a while, you know that last summer we got a Solar Edge solar system installed by Solar Titan USA. And you also know that we had a less than pleasant experience. Solar Titan USA did an absolutely awful job installing our system, and it actually made our power bill go up rather than down. Luckily, they've gone out of business due to their horrible work and even worse reputation. Unfortunately, when a company goes out of business, you can't utilize their warranty. I ended up reaching out directly to Solar Edge, the manufacturer of our system, to see if they could help. A few conversations with them over the phone gave them all the information they needed to fix our system remotely so they didn't even have to come out to the farm to do any repairs. We waited a few billing cycles to ensure that everything was consistently working before making this video. We just got our electric bill in the mail, so let's compare that to the Solar Edge monitoring software to see if the numbers really do add up and also see if it's worth it to go solar. When Amicalola EMC came out to read the meter, it showed that we imported 2,392 kilowatt hours from the grid and sent back 459 kilowatt hours. If you do the math, they charge us 9.9 .9 cents per kilowatt hour that we import, and what we sold back to them, they only gave us 3.8 cents per kilowatt hour. That 6.1 cent difference is where they get the money to run their business. I get it. I wouldn't sell something to somebody at the cost it takes me to produce that item. After all, a business needs to be profitable in order to keep the doors open. Now let's take a look at the Solar Edge monitoring software and see how their numbers stack up against Amicalola's. The exact same date range shows that we imported approximately 2,310 kilowatt hours and exported about 393 kilowatt hours. The import is 82 kilowatt hours less than what the electric company billed us, but the export is 66 kilowatts higher. This discrepancy sums up to less than $6 over a 32-day billing cycle, which is only about $0.17 cents per day. That's not that big of a deal compared to what we were seeing before Solar Edge fixed our system. Our bill was $236. But what would it have cost if we didn't have a solar system? 3,340 kilowatt hours of consumption at 9.9 .9 cents per kilowatt hour plus tax would come up to $352.81. That's a savings of $117! But wait, at the beginning of this video I said it saved us thousands of dollars this month. The battery backup is what made that difference. We lost power last night, and luckily our battery kicked in and powered all of our critical breakers. Most of our farm essentials are powered by those breakers for this very reason. When we moved here, we knew that living in the middle of the woods in a rural area we'd have to deal with the possibility of extended power outages. This farm needs electricity for many reasons. We have three chest freezers, two full-sized upright freezers, and two full-sized refrigerators with freezers, all powered by that battery. All of our pastured pork, eggs, and the produce that we sell, in addition to all of our personal food, was held at the proper temperatures during our power outage. Thousands of dollars worth of inventory would have been compromised otherwise. We're currently incubating chicken eggs, and when they're not held at the proper temperature and humidity, the embryos die. Our aquaponics system has a pump and two heaters that ran off of the battery during our outage last night. It got down to 36 degrees this morning, and our fish definitely can't survive temperatures that low. Without the pump running, all of this Swiss chard could have drowned if the water level in the grow bed was at maximum depth before the power went out. And the saddest possibility of all, the heat lamp for the two-week-old piglets would have been off, and they may not have been warm enough to make it through the night. This backup battery is the number one reason we got a solar system to begin with. A whole home generator would have been a cheaper option, but we don't have natural gas or a liquid propane tank. It would cost us even more to run natural gas lines to our property than the entire cost of a solar system and a home generator combined, so that wasn't an option. An LP tank would be a much cheaper option, 
but you need someone to come out and fill it when the propane depletes. The cost of all fuel sources fluctuates, except the sun that's always free. We're not really doomsday preppers, but we've seen just a couple years ago how a global event can greatly impact the availability and cost of pretty much everything. It's nice to know that you don't have to worry about a company coming out to fill a resource that may become unavailable or just too dang expensive. If the sun stops producing energy, we have a lot more to worry about than our freezers running because the new average temperature will be about 450 degrees below zero. So the real question is, is the solar edge solar system worth having? We'll lay out the facts and let you decide that. When we signed up, we were told about the 30% federal tax credit and the 50% federal grant for farms that get a solar system. After signing up, we looked into that USDA grant and found out that not only would we need a commercial meter rather than a residential, but we could only power the farm with that system. It would actually be against the law for us to tap into it for residential purposes. We also would have had to apply for that grant and get approved before we even started shopping for a solar system. There is certainly a possibility that we can take advantage of that grant in the future as we grow the business. The 30% federal tax credit is a non-refundable tax credit, meaning you can only get that money if you've paid that much in taxes via a paycheck. So if you're self-employed and currently running at a loss like we are, you'll never see one red cent of that tax credit. Fortunately, there is a 10-year rollover period, so you can kind of chip away at that total amount, even if it takes several years to get it all back. We're projecting that we'll be profitable this year, but we won't really know until the year's over. You can actually help us achieve that goal in several different ways. If you're in the North Georgia area or just passing through, you can visit us at the Farmer's Market. We're at the Jasper Farmer's Market every Saturday from 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon, and we're at the Bridge Mill Farmer's Market on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'd love to see you there. You can also become a patron on our Patreon page, where we have several different tiers based on the amount you pledge, where you can get some really cool perks, like early access to all of our videos, as well as getting to name one of our farm animals. Another way to show your support is by giving a super thanks right here on this video. You can click below where it says thanks and send a gift of any amount. You can also just hit the like button if you don't have the means. There's also one more way where we're really going to need your support, and you're hearing it here first. We are in the process of writing a cookbook. We'll be launching a crowdfunding campaign in the next few months. For those of you who don't know, I'm a culinary school graduate and have almost two decades of restaurant management experience. My wife Ashley has been a baker and cake decorator for just as long, mostly as a hobby, but also professionally. Food has always been our biggest passion. That's actually what brought us together and why we wanted to start a farm to produce the most high quality ingredients. Our cookbook is going to feature some of our favorite recipes that we've developed over the years, and each one is going to highlight an ingredient that we either raise or grow here on the farm. Our cookbook is going to be targeted towards several groups of people. The first is going to be our customers at the farmer's market who may be unfamiliar with some of the ingredients that we sell. This cookbook will also be for anyone who wants an absolutely fabulous home-cooked meal that's elevated by fancy ingredients and or techniques. Something that's going to make our cookbook truly unique is that it's also for anyone who's interested in starting a small farm or homestead and wants to learn our practices for raising our animals and growing our produce. Along with the recipes, you'll learn how we grow and raise things sustainably using regenerative farming practices. Not only will you get an awesome background and something educational, but you'll also get to make an incredible home-cooked meal after reading it. Sorry if this went a little off topic, but we always want to stress the reality of starting a farm completely from scratch like we're doing. It's very expensive and time consuming, and sometimes it even takes years to see the figurative and literal fruits of your labor. Ethically producing food in a way that's good for the environment and your health is something we take very seriously. It's our duty to provide our family and local community with this extremely important resource and we're very lucky to have you following along on that journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.